Hey, you know what I was thinking? What? I got something. I had an idea for the magazine. What if we did a video of actually building a pre-runner? My wife's got a 96 Explorer. <laughs> what do you think we should use on it? I'm thinking, um, that, that Dixon Bros racing, 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 racing kit. We could accident with some rad flow shocks. I think Glassworks makes the fiberglass for the Explorer. Um, I think it's the Baker Motorsports fiberglass. Some tires, more of an all-terrain, mud terrain. Now I like the look of the mud trains better. Mickey Thompson has these new tires. Really, really cool. We could do some Deaver Springs in the back. Okay. We should have Dan's driveline put new gears and everything in it. Rad flow shocks. I'm thinking two HIDs in the front. Maybe some eight inch on top. What if we wrap the whole thing? Yeah. I can do the artwork yeah. and we'll get Dr. Flames, Dr. Flames, Dr. Flames. We need a name for this. Um, Pump My Pre-Runner. Pump My Pre-Runner. Pump My Pre-Runner. So what we're doing right now is we're turning the whole front suspension apart. We're taking the lower A-arms off, the upper A-arms off, the torsion bars. The new uh, suspension kit consists of coilovers and bump stops instead of the, the normal torsion bar suspension. So right now we've got it, we're prepping it before we put the shock hoops, the steering on, the coilovers and the bump stops. So right now we're just taking everything apart. shock and the stock loose brief setup that comes factory on this Ford Explorer. What we're doing is we're going to put these uh, long travel deeper springs which we're going to get more travel with the rat flow reservoir shocks in the rear. This will give us about maybe five more inches of travel, um, about two inches more ride height and this is definitely what you need if you want to take it out and romp around the building. You can see we got rid of the stock shock tower, we grinded everything flat, we have everything ready, prepared for uh, welding. Alright, as you can see here, we got the upper arm installed, the steering extension that comes, everything comes with the kit. We got the rotor. We're using the stock spindle on this application just because we don't want too much of a big ride height. You can put the Fabtech two-wheel drive lift spindles on this if you wanted to. We got the limit strap installed. Um, there's a couple other things, loose ends we do have to tie up. Uh, we have to make, like I said, the reservoir mount. Um, pretty much the other side is just the same thing. So. Next time you see us, we'll be uh, on tires. The design fit the vehicle well. Uh, it's done with the uh, two-way vision window scape on the windows and the fronts and the sides. Uh, it's, the rest of the vinyl is done with an air release with a uh, four mil uh, clear laminate. Anyway, uh, you see the product here, you can transform a, a basically stock looking vehicle into a wild custom and it's, uh, it only takes about a day and a half.
Yeah, with the old truck, it was something I couldn't go off-road with. I run the risk of breaking something or getting stuck. And I, I really hope it's get, got some wild suspension on it so I can go out there and hit the trails and, and some light so maybe I can do it at night. And I mean, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to see it? I am. How excited are you? Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Red power coat. What do you think of that? That is awesome. I bumps. Thing Not a problem, right? <laughs> I even put some custom side steps on it. So no, it's a little bit higher now. It's easier to get in. You see what we did to the, the body of it. We wrapped it. Dr. Flames, Las Vegas, wrapped it. What do you think of this? That's gonna grab some attention. Did you see this back bumper? Check your back bumper out. Toe wow. hitch. Now look up. Look at the light bar. LED wow. lights. Race truck, trophy truck, light bar. One of a kind built at Walworth Motorsports. I was walking around over here. If you put deeper springs, so you can handle those bumps, the rough stuff, the rad flow shocks, totally awesome. What do you think of that? I'm gonna be able to go anywhere. Anywhere you want. Classworks Unlimited, Baker Motorsports design, Classworks fingers. Nobody has those. They're one of a kind. Your whole truck is one of a kind. What do you think? It's unreal. Unreal, right? A little something extra that I did, I noticed your license plate when it came in. It said pixie dust. So what I did, to give a little bit more flair, if you look down here, I did a farrier <laughs> skid plate. I love it. Isn't that awesome? That just accents all the red stuff on here. a and Motorsports, they are custom bodywork and paint, lined up the fenders to make everything look beautiful. Hillary, I know it's dark in front, right? right. So what we did, we took these Acro lights, 8 inch halogen, we made a custom light bar that you can fold down at any time. You have to fit it in your garage, parking garages. You know, you come to Vegas a lot, right? Yeah. You gotta put that light bar down. What we did in the front was a 6 inch HID high intensity discharge driving lights by Acro. Thank you everyone at Woolworth Motorsports and Pre-Runner Maniac for pumping my pre-runner. Now let's go hit the desert.